it was kind of like that tone. Like, do you really think like you can do it? And I'm like, oh, like Jesus take the wheel. Kind of backtracking. I always knew that I wanted to be an actress. Like mm -hmm. ever since I was a little girl, um, I remember going to Kumon. Do you guys know? Yeah, you guys know Kumon is, right. Like every Asian went to Kumon, right? Like every day, even on weekends. Like you always went to Kumon, and I remember going to my English Kumon teacher, and she asked me like, "What do you want to be when you grow up?" And I said like so confidently, "Oh, I want to be an actor." And she corrected me, obviously, and said, oh, you mean actress. Oh, mm -hmm. And that's when I like knew, oh, okay, it's actress. Um, but yeah, I think because such a like a young age, I wanted to pursue that. But then when I remember telling my parents at one point, like little girl, and to me, like I didn't know anything about the industry or what it really took, um, just in the eyes of a young, passionate dreamer. I told them with such confidence, and then they really dismissed the idea, um, mm. dismissed my dreams um, in a way that really shut down my confidence and my self-esteem mm. in this dream. And I always was embarrassed to have this dream of an actor. Mm. Um, and ever since that little girl, like, I got that, I guess, trauma, I was like, oh, I'm never going to say this ever again because I felt so like judged um mm. and coming How from my parents you, by the way when I you think, told them that you wanted to be an actress yeah I think I was fifth grade mm, really yeah young. yeah really young mm -hmm. um and so I think that really stuck to me so that came and I thought like that all the way until recently a um, couple like a year or two ago when I like made that transition mm -hmm. um, and so when it came time to apply for colleges uh, my parents asked me oh like what do you want to do and obviously I wanted to say actor and like yeah. I want to do acting I want to go into this like creative field but I had no courage I had no confidence I like I said I was embarrassed to even mm -hmm. say it to them and so I kept it a secret and to me, I just said, oh, I don't know, like, because literally besides acting, I had no idea what I wanted to do, mm. nothing like, and to me um, at that time, my brother was going to pharmacy school. Um, I come a family of like doctors and pharmacists and just higher education. So it, it made sense for me to kind of follow that line. Um, mm. And I totally see why my parents like encouraged me to go into pharmacy school. Um, I don't think it was like forced upon because they did ask me like what I wanted to do, but I think because I didn't know, they're like, okay, we'll just do pharmacy. And like mm -hmm. I said, I understand why they said it. It's very, a uh, highly respected profession. It's well-paying. I mean, it's very stable. Um, and so I get it and I'm grateful that they pushed me in that way. But to me, it just was like, okay, like sure why not because mm -hmm. at that point I already gave up on acting I was like okay it's never gonna work out like if I don't say anything right now it's just like it's just a dream and yeah. that was it I think you were so young to like at the time when you told your parents that you wanted to pursue acting potentially mm -hmm. I'm curious about what exactly your parents said um as like their reason for why you shouldn't have this dream because you're so young, right? Like, mm. I don't know if necessarily like financial stability is a reason that like a parent would bring up to a 10 year old kid, right? So mm -hmm. what did they say to you when you brought up the idea? Yeah, first of all, they were just kind of like laughing it off. Like, mm. oh, like, you know, like who do you kind of like, you know, there's so many, I remember my mom saying like, you know how many more talented people mm. there are? like besides you and you know how many more like pretty girls there are besides you out there like do you really think it was kind of like that tone like do you really think like you can do it and Susan like there's so many dark sides to this industry that you have no idea about and don't try um it's not worth it that's what they were kind of coming at me mm -hmm. um but at, at the same time I I understand their hearts too and where the, like the reasoning is because now being in it, 
there are dark sides to it. There's just so much rejection. There's It's really hard on your soul, like mentally, in every aspect. Just acting is like always trying to... Like when you go on auditions, it's like always like a job interview and to kind of face rejection more than you face acceptance. It's it's really hard. And so now that I look back, I, I get what they were coming from. And I have to always remind myself like, oh, my parents always wanted the best for me mm-hmm. in their thinking, in their minds. Like this was coming out of love and this is coming out because they cared so much about me. And so I think that's how I was able to kind of understand their perspective mm-hmm. yeah yeah because as parents of course they just want you to be happy and yeah. not to live a hard life either and i think there is a concept exactly. like a common narrative that it's like starving artists like as an actor mm-hmm. like you can become really big overnight or you can be struggling for like years on end and yeah, yeah like i i I, under, I also understand how for parents like as ki- as children of our parents we know that they mean well but also to hear that at such a young age that's so traumatizing it like is. it's yeah it really does crush any aspirations or hope you have mm-hmm. even in college and in pharmacy school um i think the first two years i pretty much gave up on the idea i was like man like if i'm in this like well you know, this is the path that I'm supposed to be in. Um, but then I realized the third year of pharmacy school, um, I know something just changed. I Because I was exposed to more pharmacy, I, I, I really saw and realized that, oh, like, this is not for me. Yeah, um, I was going to ask, like, did you ever grow to enjoy <laughs> Ph- t- pharmacy classes yeah, or topics? especially because it requires so much schooling that I imagine your peers, a lot of them mm. might be super specifically passionate about pharmacy. So it must have been yeah. interesting seeing yourself and feeling really hesitant and being around peers who were like, I love pharmacy. Mm, yeah. Yeah. So my whole thought process was like, okay, so I want to do acting and I think I really try to be as logical as um, like give have a logical approach to this dream and actually pursuing this as much as possible. Um, I didn't want like school or any kind of excuse once I told my parents that they would like use that to blame anything. So mm-hmm. for me, like once I decided that, oh, I'm going to actually pursue this, like, and I'm going to tell my parents and I'm going to move to LA after I graduate college. Uh, once I had that determination and that goal set for me I actually ended up working so much harder in pharmacy school like my GPA went up so much um and I think a lot of that reasoning is because I wanted to show my parents like hey like I'm really serious about acting I'm gonna graduate pharmacy school and I really just saw it as a way for me to provide for myself I showed my parents like or showed my mom I didn't tell my dad at that time I only told my mom so you Um, told your mom your third year my third year I remember it was like we were just walking I was in Korea at the time we were walking on New Year's Eve and I remember like praying to God like my God like just give her like a good heart heart. to receive (laughs) yeah and I'm like oh like Jesus take the wheel and um luckily she I think I don't know how she took it, honestly. I think because it was such far out that she was like, okay, like, we'll deal with it then. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah. Do yeah. you think your parents knew, like, as you were growing up, like, after the first conversation, do you think they knew that this was continuously something that you were pining after and something that you really wanted to pursue? Honestly, my parents had no idea. Um, mm. especially my dad, like he didn't know until last year when I quit my job. Wow. Um, yeah. So to him, it was like a really big surprise and mm. the way he reacted, obviously like the first part was like, no, <laughs> mm-hmm. like you can't like, why? Like, you know, like you have this degree, like it's not the path that you're meant to be on. Um, but luckily after just one conversation um, on the phone um, and just really listening to my heart and how I just wanted to try this. 
um, he really kind of came around like within one phone call, which was so surprising to me. Um, And I was like, oh my gosh, thank you. And he was like, you know, just like be happy. And um, I think that support like even made me want to work harder. Um, Mm -hmm. At first, like my heart was like, oh, if they say no, like I was like, oh, I'm going to show you like, like, let me see like what, how much I can do. And I'm going to prove to you. And like, but once they became like supportive, I was like, oh, like breaking (laughs) down and just like, oh my gosh, like this just makes me like, it's a different kind of drive um, that it gives you. Mm 